Hi, I'm Dr. Pete Shifley at the University of Cincinnati's Fetch Lab. Today we're going to be running a hearing test on this Border Collie Q. And uh, so when getting ready for the hearing test, there's a number of things that we have to do. The first thing we have to do is we put some lidocaine on the three sites where the electrodes are going to go. And that uh, will deaden that out and she'll be able to put the electrodes on. We take her head size. That's so we know uh, what affects the, the size of each dog's head. The chihuahua is different than a golden retriever will be on the test. Then the vet will come in and do an otoscopic exam of her ears and we'll do a quick physical exam. And then we'll be ready to go for the testing. She'll go into the sound booth, we'll put the electrodes on her and uh, get an EEG and the testing will begin. Usually the scariest part for the owners are the needles. Nobody likes needles so I always show them what we use to do the test is just a small, um, it goes under the skin, it's called a subdermal needle. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's very small and very thin. And usually the biggest challenge of this test is that, um, because the needles are so small, is that if the dog moves a little bit, that the needles kind of back out. So um, sometimes we'll periodically have to stop during the testing and just make sure that we're positioned properly. So what we do is we just, um, on the three places where we put our cream so that they won't feel any pain, we just have to lift the skin a little bit. Place the first needle on top of her head. Be a good girl, cutie. Okay. And then the needle goes behind each ear. Again, where we put our cream. Okay, we place the electrodes in the box here. Um, the right ear goes into the negative because that's the test ear. And then we've got the positive side up here on, on her head. And the ground is the non test ear. And then we checked our impedances. That one looks good. And then the positive side looks good. So we're ready to go. Okay, when we have Q in the booth, we have electrodes on uh, Q's head, and what we're doing is presenting sounds into the ears and then just simply recording um, neural activity from the scalp in response to those sounds. And then we're plotting that, uh, those recordings on this particular screen. And what we are looking for is these individual peaks that show up on the tracing that will allow us to follow that sound as it travels from the ear up to the brain. And the strength of these peaks tells us the strength of the response in Q's ear. What we are trying to follow is this big peak right here. Um, and we are presenting the stimulus or the sound at progressively lower intensities and we're trying to find the lowest level that will give us a repeatable response to tell us if Q has normal hearing or not, which Q in fact does have normal hearing. 